Let's look up a word, long suffering. Okay. Having or showing patience in spite of troubles, especially those caused by other people. I was reading the Bible with someone and I think in the New Testament, I believe, and especially in Paul's teachings, I think he expresses we should have long suffering. So patience, so showing patience or having patience while you are in trouble, especially those caused by other people. Someone, someone may say to me, Kevin, how can I have patience if someone is causing me trouble? Well, think about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ did nothing wrong. I believe toward the end, before he got crucified, I think so many people spit on him, like hit him on the face, I think he got like bruised up really bad, beat on. So many bad things happened to him and what did he do? Did he cuss anyone out? Did he insult anyone during that time? Did he place any curse on anyone for what they did to him on that day? I don't think so. I believe he showed, shown or showed, I believe he showed great patience. Some people may say, if someone does evil to me, I am going to do evil back. Like if someone does me wrong and I don't do anything back to that person, that person may believe I am weak. That person may believe they can take advantage of me. They can use me. They can step on me like a dirty mat. Look now. You are using earthly knowledge. Now, if you see it in an earthly way, okay, you may be right. But if you see it in a spiritual way, look now, I believe we all are going to reap what we sow. You may not see that person get punished, but just because you don't see it doesn't mean it is or it won't happen. I don't see everything that goes around in this world. So since I don't see it, can I say it is not happening? I don't see, I guess, all of the processes or the, I don't see all the operations of 
particular things. So since I don't see it, or since I don't understand them, I guess I can say, does it mean it isn't happening? Look now. I believe we are supposed to become more like Jesus Christ every day. So I think our character must change more like Jesus every day. So if I have the mind to get even with people. Hey, that person did evil to me and I am going to do evil back. How can I call myself Christian? I am just like everyone else, right? As a Christian, not to say that all Christians do everything right all the time, but as a Christian, a follower of Christ, I think I have to be different than people who claim to be atheists or people who claim to be Muslim or whatever else. If I begin acting like an atheist, how can I be Christian? If I begin acting like I am Muslim, how can I be Christian? Long-suffering. We have to be patient, even though we are having a hard time in life. What good is it when times are good? I am patient. I am loving. I am caring. I am giving. But when I am having a hard time, I turn demonic. I get bitter and hateful and rageful, if that is a word. I get like when I am having a hard time, I become a non-Christian. Okay. Look now, I believe when times are hard, that shows us how we really are. Okay, the way I behave when times are hard or bad, whatever, I think that shows me how I really am. Because let's say I can be patient and humble and appreciative when times are bad. Okay, what is going to happen when times are good? I believe I am going to be that or plus more. So when times are good, how can I call myself, how can I say this? How can I call myself a patient person when, okay, I may be able to be patient when times are bad. I mean, I may be able to be patient when times are good. But if I can't be patient when times are bad, how can I be a patient person? I can't be impatient and patient at the same time. So, I hope this is making sense. We have to be long-suffering. 
I don't think Jesus Christ ever told any of us, even in the Bible, I don't think Jesus Christ told us that when you become a Christian, all of your troubles are over. We have to be willing to endure. Yes, people may insult you. People may lie and cheat on you. You have to be patient. You have to stay humble. Yes, I know we may not do everything right, but I believe we should strive toward that direction. So long suffering, having or showing patience in spite of troubles, especially those caused by other people. So it doesn't matter whose fault it is. We have to show, we have to exercise patience. And I think long suffering is a fruit of the spirit. So it is not only good for us to be patient when times are good, but we need to be patient even when times are bad. Because if we choose not to be long suffering, how are we any different than people of the world? People who don't want to serve God. There should be a difference between a Christian and a person of the world. So if you choose not to adopt those or these characteristics, which I am only telling you about one, but I believe the fruit of the Spirit is in Galatians chapter 5, I think verse 22 through 23, I think. So if you choose not to adopt those characteristics, how can you call yourself Christian? If you aren't striving for those attributes, let me stop here. God bless you.